Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of how to solve the Rubik's Cube using logic. This part is on the first layer corner pieces. So there are four first layer corners to solve and uh, now is when I'm going to start getting into the more logical view on how to solve the cube. So I am actually not going to be giving out any algorithms in this video. I'm just going to be explaining step by step what is going on with the cube uh, while we're solving these corners. And uh, so basically, uh, you want to pick a corner that is not in one of these four slots that we're going to fill, uh, if possible, because that eliminates some unnecessary moves to, uh, you know, if you would take out a corner that is already in a slot and then reinsert it in a different slot or in the same slot properly, that's a waste of moves uh, versus just inserting a corner into a slot directly. So uh, basically, like I said before, just pick a corner that is not in one of these four slots. So this you would not want to pick. So basically, in this layer here, pick one of these corners. So I'll just pick this one here, uh, which is the white, orange, blue piece. And how we figure out where that's going to go is just look at the center pieces so uh, here's white, here's orange, and here's, or here's white, there's blue, here's orange. And it just goes, you could say, in between all of them, which is just this corner piece here. So now what you have to do is orient it above uh, that slot so that you could basically just turn it in like this and match it up. So once you've done that, uh, now we have to insert the piece. Now we can't just uh, go like this because that messes up this piece here. So uh, one way to look at it is we're going to move this mass out of the way so it does not interfere with the insertion of this piece here. So that will look like this. So we're going to move it away from that piece so that we can move the corner piece in and then we just move it back and that solves the corner piece. So once again, move it away, insert the corner piece, and then move that bulk back. Now another way you can look at it is like this, um, and you can look at it as if you're bringing up this slot here and then inserting the corner. So you're gonna bring up the slot, then move the corner piece into that slot, and then Put the slot back so once again bring up the slot move the corner into the slot and bring it back so uh, those are that's two different ways to look at it I prefer the moving the bulk out of the way method uh, and one thing to mention about that method is that make sure that you uh, move it out of the way the proper direction it's pretty easy to figure out just move it away from the corner piece because if you move it towards it uh, when you move this corner piece down like this, you can see it's rotating these cross pieces, and when you move it back, it'll screw up your cross. So, uh, don't do that, basically. So, uh, we saw that, and uh, now I'll just go over the mirror really quick. So, this piece is a good example, so I'll orient it above its proper slot so this is the white green red so we have white green and red and then since on the other side now we're going to move the bulk out of the way insert the piece and go back and then the other variation of that is to uh, bring up that slot insert the corner piece and bring it back down okay so now i can get into a or the special case, as I'll call it. And that is when you cannot insert it uh, in either direction, so like this or like this. And how you can tell that this is gonna happen is the white sticker will be opposite of all the other stickers. Uh, so this one's pointing down, and then the rest of these are pointing up. And how we're gonna fix this is basically we're going to overshoot so since we can't insert it here we'll just overshoot and then push it out 
over here. And what that does is it puts it into a orientation that we can work with. So now, as you can see, uh, we can work with this and now just insert it like that. So, uh, now how that would look with the slot approach is that you would bring it up like this, can't insert it, so overshoot one more, and then move it back over the slot so that you can bring up the slot, insert it, and bring the slot back down. So that's how that works. Now the last case is when you have a piece that is stuck in a uh, slot that you're going to use or you're going to solve and that is this last piece here. So as you can see it's in the proper slot but it's not in the right orientation so we're just going to take it out and then reinsert it properly. So uh, basically you're going to do the exact reverse of inserting a corner. So we're going to basically just move it up to the uh, this layer up here. But of course we don't want to mess this up, so we're going to move this bulk out of the way once again and make sure you're doing it uh, the right way and not the wrong way. And then uninsert it and then move the bulk back. And as you can see, we can now work with this piece since it's up here instead of down here. Now how that would look with the slot approach is uh, bringing it up and you can put it here or here it doesn't matter and then just bring it down so you just want to get it out of that slot doesn't matter which way and then you can insert it so that is how you solve the uh, corners to the first layer uh, make sure you get this down before you move on to the next video and the next video is going to be these four corners of the second layer so thank you for watching